Hey everybody, welcome back to Backlog Banter. Today we have a very, very special video because we are, as you can see in Tucker's background, re recording a review for a new game called They Bleed Pixels. Well, it's a new old game because They yeah, Bleed yeah. Pixels is a very cool game that was out on Steam in 2012 and has just come to Switch in October. Now, before we get started at all, we gotta get the fucking FCC off our backs. We have gotten a review code provided for us for this video game. So thank you very much. The full disclosure will be in the description if you're curious, as well as the link to where you can learn more about the game and the developer. Um, I want to start this out actually by talking a little bit about this game personally. Okay. Really the reason we, we got this code is because I met up with the developers at PAX East this year and got to go hands on with the game before release. Last year. Um, no, this year. What? Fucking 20, 2020 is on a real roller coaster, hasn't it? Wait, 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 wait. What, what month did you go to PAX? I went to PAX March. Early March? March uh -huh. is when the world went to shit. Oh, wait, no, no. It was late February because February 28th is my six month anniversary with my girlfriend. So okay, I was at well, PAX that weekend. Yeah, who cares about that? Let's talk about the games, talk about video games. But yeah, so I fucking dodged the bullet with that one, huh? Me and 15,000 15, other people at the convention center two weeks before the world went to shit. Mm -hmm. um, but while I was there, I got there you okay. are. Yeah. So I got to sit down with the developer at PAX to get a feel for the game. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed my time with it. I really liked it mechanically. I think it does some interesting things. Um, but then when we got offered a review code, I wanted to hand that over to Tucker since he had no experience with it. And I thought that my time at PAX and his time with the review copy could let us have a nice little back and forth. Yeah. So I really want you to fucking take the, take the reins on this one. Where do you want to be? What are your thoughts on Nably Pixels? It's very interesting. I think that it is an incredibly well-made game. I'm, I have a huge amount of respect for the developers and what they did. Uh, and I do have to say that it's not, not the game for me, though. Yeah. I, I, I'm really not a person that is into trial and error, into being, being challenged in, in my opinion, some unfairly punishing ways. Um, so I don't, I don't get into games like Super Meat Boy. I don't get into Dark Souls. I've, I've, dabbled in bloodborne but i never could get into it and, and and not to say that this is as difficult as any of those but it definitely has a overtly challenging element and i think that that's kind of what the game focuses on um what and i played i played the game for about two hours i i put a good amount of time into it i put, played about three of the worlds but i just hit a wall where i was realizing that i was getting more frustrated by the trial and error gameplay and me not necessarily fully understanding the combat which i will i'll take on my head is as one of my problems but that i just i just had to stop at some point but again even though it's not my kind of game almost everything about it i think i highly respect and i think is incredibly well made I think what's really interesting about the game is that it, it feels really unique and it challenges the player in a way you wouldn't expect from a platformer because it has a lot of fighting game elements in it. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's what's super interesting about it is that a lot of a lot of your of your moves are input based and you're gonna be playing it as though you're playing a fighting game in the context of a of a more difficult precision platformer. Mm -hmm. So when I was playing it, I felt the same sort of frustration as I was trying to understand the combat and as I was grappling with the mechanics. But at the same time, I think there's a really rewarding element here to the game. Yeah. When you start to figure out how to use the different moves, when you figure out what works for you and you implement that, it feels really empowering. I think the gameplay loop here is great, but I just think it's important to contextualize that with the fact that this is not going to be an experience for everybody. Yeah. I, and I do have to say that where the game is its strongest is in the combat. I mean, it is so satisfying to do all those moves. They have created a really unique control scheme in which if you're standing still or hold buttons for a certain amount of time, you do different kinds of moves, which you can string together into combos, which then uh, when you kill an enemy with a larger combo, you get more uh, blood, which lets you save. We have an interesting save system where a meter fills up and then you generate your own checkpoints by standing still. It's it's a lot of really interesting mechanics that I do think flow really well together. Um, unfortunately, I don't think necessarily that the level design plays too well into the combat. I was hoping more for like arena areas where I could really string together combos, but there's a lot of one enemy on a floating platform over a bunch of spikes and then you hop to another one in it. I felt that if the combos could be strung together between more multiple enemies in larger scale environments that that would have uh, worked better together in terms of the platforming and the um, combat. But that being said, the, the platforming is still good. You have uh, your character has these little crab hands. The story, let's let's talk about the story for a second. Sure. It is a uh, little girl who's going to an all uh, an all girls um, sort of like Christian school where you're like, 
I don't know. It's 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 a private school. I don't have connection to that. I can't tell you what it's like. You but don't she know finds much about book. all girls universities. No, surprisingly, I don't. <laughs> um, but she finds a book covered in blood, and it ends up haunting her. It curses her in her nightmares, and the nightmares start to sort of come to reality. She keeps trying to get rid of the book, but it it keeps coming back. Um, which I think is really cool, and that means that the character has uh like these stabby hands. I, I don't. They look like extended lobster claws but it allows you to cling onto walls which is which is pretty cool for the platforming uh, i sort of tied all those points together but that being said um the story which gives you the claws which gives you the platforming abilities and the uh, combat abilities i think all that works really well together and has a really nice thematic element especially with the fantastic pixel art holy crap i love pixel art and those backgrounds are great um i really love the the how the blood sprays out you know they do bleed bleed pixels believe it or not they bleed a lot of pixels in this game um but yeah no it's there's a lot of this game that i really really do enjoy yeah, I think what's what's best about this game, especially on Switch in such a crowded platforming marketplace, yeah. is that it does do a lot to stand out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think in doing so, as you're saying, it's not going to appeal to as wide a range of people as some of the other platforms that people really love on the system when they talk Celeste or really anything else. Um, but I think what it does is have a really unique identity. And for the people that that speaks to, the game's really going to connect with. Yeah. Can't have that go to sleep. <laughs> Um, so what else about this game connected with you? Because you said you ended up talking with the developers and spending some time at the booth. And I don't know. I just want to hear some more of your thoughts. Yeah, I, I think just what there's a couple of things that appealed to me. First of all, I think that any opportunity you can ever have to sit down with a developer and hear more about their game is worthwhile. Yeah. It's such a unique and important experience. And I think it, it gives you a new appreciation for the entire industry and the way games are made. So getting to sit there with a the developer and learn more about a, a genre that I love, platformers, in a new yeah. context just really spoke to me. And that, that was at the core of why I was so drawn to this game, because I would consider platformers to be one of my favorite genres. Mm -hmm. But I do think we've reached a critical mass where a lot feel pretty samey, sure. and where it's hard to stand out. And I really think that this game does a nice job standing out. Yeah. And, and, and I think that that's why, if you're hopping on the eShop today, it's, it's an interesting game to take a look at. Yeah, so there actually is another aspect about this game that I haven't mentioned yet that I think shows how much care and just detail that this game goes into. There's unlockables in this game. There is uh, a lot of unlockable art. You collect pages throughout the levels and you can spend, bless you, you can spend those to unlock uh, developer art and, and like uh, things like that. And um, you can go back and revisit levels. There's a novice difficulty, which is still pretty hard. That's what I was playing on, and I still found it particularly challenging. But I think the the options in this game and the extra content outside of the levels is is very impressive. Also, on top of the presentation, the story, which I should have mentioned this earlier, but the story is presented through uh, graphic novel style panels, which I that that's a style that mm, I love that. Yeah, there really is a lot. There's a lot to dive into here. Um, I don't know how much more I want to say. I want to give you an opportunity to say anything else you might want to add to, to the experience, what you would do to sell or dissuade somebody from picking up this game. Well, so I, when I'm thinking about this game and my, my perspective on it and I, me thinking that it is a, a very high quality game that I think people should give a try, I do want to add it with the caveat that if you are like me, easily prone to becoming frustrated and dropping games, this is probably not the game for you. And there's a couple things the mechanic of creating your own um your own checkpoints i think is cool but i think that it can lead to sometimes having to backtrack a lot if you have a quick death um and also the challenging aspect of there's not really any progression you have the same move set you have the same amount of hearts of the entire game um and and that can lead to bigger challenges just beating your ass especially my ass sure. my ass was beat um and another thing is that w there's no invincibility frames in this game there's no hits done or anything so if you get hit by an enemy um or you fall into spikes you if you get hit right again right after that it's 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 game over for you if you fall into spikes there's no chance for you to jump double jump back up or, or hop onto a wall because you just take another hit and you just die and i, I think that ended up frustrating me a lot when i would t tip my toe onto a spike and they would take all my hp away and i would have to go all the way back and and i just ended up being a little frustrated but i do recognize that that kind of 
challenging trial and error gameplay, getting good at the combat and flowing through the levels is something that appeals to a lot of people. So, you know, take, take my opinion with a grain of salt, but hopefully I've explained my perspective and the game uh, mechanics enough for you to make your own decision. Yeah, it's it's definitely has an old, an old school design philosophy that I think is going to appeal to a particular set of players, and I do, I do anticipate picking this up uh, when I have yeah. an opportunity to because I really do want to explore more of the game because I personally really connect with the idea of having these set mechanics and having to grow with them and learn the combos I like. And just in my short pack demo, I was already compelled. Um, so I really think I really think it's one to pay attention to. Yeah. Well, thank you for everyone for watching. Uh, if developers, if you're watching this, thank you for the game. Thank you for the code. I, I really did enjoy my time with your game, even though if I did have some frustrations with it. Um, but that does it for this review. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you later. Okay, I'm here. I fucking love that song. It's not working.